Wow. Wow. What's going on, guys? I told you I was going to bring you my team. As you can see, we are at 86 overall. My QB is Steve Young. Now, I don't know why I clicked that. I always click A instead of X. A is a little bit more convenient. But um, as you can see, Steve Young, compared to all my other quarterbacks, he has 81 speed, 85 throw power, 88 um, short accuracy, 87 mid accuracy, 87 throw deep. Um, his run is 88. He's a pretty good player. Compared to that Prescott, he blows him out the water. Um, there's no need to show all the other QBs at all. And then we have our fullback, um, Lorenzo Neal. Compared to all my other fullbacks, um, compared to Patrick, he has more speed. Um, 83 awareness, 78 carry, and a 62 catch. But uh, I must say, Patrick is a better blocking fullback. So I might sell Neil. I need better blockers because you know how Madden is. People love to rush you pretty damn hard. Um, I was going to start with Hopkins, but I'm going to go over to Randy Moss. Randy Moss has 89 speed, 90 excel, I mean 90 jump. They both have 88 catching. Um, Kenyon Traffic, DeAndre Hopkins takes that one. He has 89 spectacular catch. And um, the next three categories, DeAndre Hopkins take that. And then um, Randy Moss takes the last two. I have a pretty good wide receiver core. And you can see I have AJ Green. Um, the only thing Randy Moss has, uh, Major Green has better than Randy Moss is catching traffic. And uh, I just picked up AJ Green. I just packed him. I didn't have my recorder going. Uh, I also have 87 Pierre Garçon. The only thing that he has better is a 92 catch than Randy Moss. But everything else, Randy Moss blows them out the water. And like I was saying, my receiving core is really good. I have Moss, DeAndre Hopkins, AJ Green, Pierre Garçon, Life Fitzgerald. Life Fitzgerald has an amazing catch compared to Randy Moss, as you see there, with a 90 catch and an 87 catch in traffic. This man has hands, but the only thing I have to say about this card is that he's really slow. He's really slow. And as you can see, other Randy Moss and Randy Moss blows the water out onto uh, I mean Mike Evans. So I don't even need some of those cards. I just stacked at the wide receiver position. And then we're going to go into my tight ends. Jimmy Graham, he has um, 77 speed to 81 speed for Eric. 72 strength, six, I mean 84 catch, 86 catch in traffic, 88 spectacular catch. And um, this guy, he's better in every way, but just size speed. Jimmy Graham just not a speed back. Uh, as you can see, Evan Ingram, he blows him out the water, but Ingram has 83 speed. That's what I like about him. I'm not going to go into my big men right now. Um, defense is loaded. My defense is is loaded. In the cornerback position, we have 88 Stephon Gilmore, who I also packed um, not too long ago today. We have with 86 speed, 89 excel, 84 agility, 84 jump. The, um, press coverage, he's not that good. Casey Hayward has him beat with that. 89 man. Then we go, for some reason, Malcolm Jenkins is better um, corner than uh, some of my other corners down there. Then I have Marcus uh, Marcus Peters. The only thing Marcus Peters has better is press coverage. So, Stefan Gilm is not a press coverage type of guy. He's more of a laid back. He's going to um, size you up and play defense on you that way. And I don't know why Malcolm Jenkins is a better corner than some of the corners I have down below. And you'll see why. Uh, Malcolm Jenkins, like I said, press coverage 89 and a zone 87. And then we have Malcolm Butler. Um, the only thing good on Malcolm Butler is his agility. And then we have Jason McCourty, and that's about it. We're going to go over to our right ends. Right now, we have Melvin Ingram at our right end. Literally, there's no other right end on here that compares to him. A lot of my other position and cards take over, as you can see there. Defensive tackle, we have Fletcher Cox and Damon Harrison. We could compare those two. 72 speed, 79 excel. Um, Damon Harrison takes a strength. Both have 87 tackle. Um, Press, he has an 88. Um, block shed, and, and you saw all that. And then we can go into J.J. Watt. Now, J.J. Watt, it's a monster card. I have no other left ends that could be on his level he's he's slow his cell slow but he has great strength tackle um and block shedding but um it looks like Kerrigan could be a better card because he has more stats and his strength and his tackle and block shedding isn't far off of that either 
at safeties, I just picked up Malcolm Jenkins a day and a half ago. Um, his speed's not that good, but um, uh, you compare him to um, Landon Collins. He has an 80 to 82 speed, 85 to excel. Um, his tackle's not good. He has a 78 tackle, 89 cover um, press cup. Pursue 80 to 82, man covers 83. So Jenkins is a pretty decent card. He's just not fast. My middle linebacker core is pretty. No, sorry, this is my left outside linebacker. Looks like Luke Keekley could pay the middle. Um, wow, left outside linebacker position better than a lot of my cards on there. As you can see, Luke Keekley was an 89 overall. Now we go to my middle linebackers. 79 to 85 speed, 82 excel to 86, 74 strength, 90 tackle, 91 press, um, 85 block shed, 88 power move, but he does not have good zone coverage like Deion Jones. Deion Jones, is, I'm not going to lie, is a beastly card, especially if you're a user. Use him a lot. I love using my middle linebackers. And then we have Telvin Smith with an 81 speed. And... He's not really better than... He's like one of my only right outside linebackers besides Anthony Barr. They both have the same speed. Excel is better on Barr. Strength is better on Barr. But tackling, press, and black shit are all Talvin Smith. And power move and finesse move is all Anthony Barr. Both cards are great user cards. Barr's a little bit taller. But, um, hey, you can't go wrong with their speed if they're the same speed. Then we have Sean Taylor. And my next full, um, free safety is Sean Taylor. And then Glover Quinn, 84 speed, 87 excel, 75 tackling, 84 pursuit, and a like I said, my team stacked this year, and I really can't wait to show you guys gameplay of this team. This is going to be looking different in the next upcoming days, especially on lock day, on launch day when there's more packs to be um, received. Um, tell me what you guys think. Um, comment, subscribe in the. Uh, in the comment box i can't wait to play with some of you guys and like i said i'm not trying to be like the other youtubers i'm trying to actually communicate and have fun with all of my um subscribers so hey guys i'm out of here thank you yeah.